Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to add a pop-up to your Squarespace website in 2023. Pop-ups are an effective way to capture visitors' attention, promote offers, and grow your email list. So if you're looking or if you're using like Squarespace to build your website, we'll show you how to add a pop-up uh, using the built-in features. So make sure to stick by and let's dive right into it. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, let's simply access the website editor. So let's just open whatever browser we're going to use the, to follow the tutorial steps with. And here, once you do so, of course, just go to the URL section. So for me, I'm using Brave, of course, for you. You can use any other browser. So go to this URL section, simply type squarespace.com and hit the enter button. Once you do so, of course, make sure to log in into your account if you have an account. If you don't, you can always go and click on Get Started to create an account for yourself. If you don't know much, of course, about Squarespace, you can always scroll down, read more information about us if you don't know much about us. And for me, I'm just going into my account, uh, to the account dashboard, of course. And of course, we will have to go and access the website editor. So for you, log into your Squarespace account and access the website editor for the specific website that you want to add the pop out. So for me, as an example, let's see that is this one. So go to websites here. Let's just wait for the website until, until it's opened. And of course, we'll have to simply add a code block. So in the Squarespace editor, you can uh, locate like the section or block you want to uh, place the pop out and click on the plus icon to add like a new block and then select code block from the available block option. So I just changed the uh, uh, website here so I can actually edit on it. I couldn't on the previous one. And here of course, so simply I'm just going to double click on that. So I'll access here and let's just go and add a section as an example. And let's just go and add the blank section here. And from here, let's just go and add a block. From this block, of course, we would like to go for the code block. As you can see, you can simply go for this block. And if you click on it, as you can see, you will find the option here to enter your code. So we have HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Markdown, and plain text. As you can see, you can even display the source code if you want to. If you don't, you can simply go and display what's going to display it here, depending on whatever you suit you. So here in the code block, you can now add your custom pop-out contents. This can include like text, images, forms, or any other elements that you want to display in the in the pop-out. You can use like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript code as I showed you here before to design and customize uh, the pop-out uh, to your liking. Of course, to determine when the pop-out should appear, you will need to add the trigger. This can be a button, link, or any other element that visitors can interact with to open the pop-out. You can use like uh, HTML or JavaScript code to define the trigger and specify the action to open the pop-out. You can even set uh, pop-up display rules. Depending on your requirements, you may want the pop-up to appear only in their specific conditions. Squarespace provides option to control the display rules of the pop-up. You can uh, like define rules such as displaying the pop-up on specific pages and after a certain amount of time or when a user is about to leave the page. Before even publishing, of course, your website, it's important to preview the pop-up uh, to ensure like it appears and functions as intended. You can use the preview mode in Squarespace to test the pop-up appearance, functionality, and responsiveness across different devices, for example, like uh, across desktop, uh, mobile, and other things. Let's say as an example, before everything, uh, of course, you will have to save everything before you finish, but before everything, let's say that you suck at code. Just be clear. clear. So you can always go and use like the chat GPT. So if you're not good at code, I'm just going to chats, uh, dot open AI dot com and hit the enter button. Log in into your account if you have one. If you don't, you can simply go and create an account for yourself. And from here, I'm just going to type uh, write me uh, like a Java script. JavaScript code for a pop up 
for a pop-up uh, that will appear that will appear for me like I don't know uh, an application so an application for uh, for testing something and of course uh, the pop up should be triggered by scrolling down to the bottom of the page so as simple as that check if you have any errors and click on send so here you'll have to wait a bit and as you can see you will get the code here what you'll have to do for yourself so let's just wait for him until he, he writes the code or chat gpt write the code and let's just wait as you can see so the code listens to the scroll event on the window and when the user scroll and reach the bottom of the page uh, the show pop-up uh, function is called which creates a new div element representative the pop out and uh, appends it to the body of the document so you can customize the pop-up contents and silent as needed modifying the inner html and various style properties in the pop out element so he even tell you if you want to uh, edit everything or anything you'll be able to do so so click on copy code go back to your site choose from here javascript delete all of that and click on Control v and simply you will have your things right here of course you can uh, see from here you can go as example and save and exit and of course you'll be able to preview on the phone and on desktop also so i don't know why it's not working correctly now they are showing the code instead of the pop-up but of course you can always go and edit this as example you can even choose something other than javascript and go back to chat that and let it just do that for you so once you're done of course here make sure to preview everything and save and you will normally be good to go after you publish in your website so once you're satisfied with the pop-out of course you can save the changes and publish your squarespace website and the pop-up will now be live and visible to the website visitors based on the defined triggered and display rules so if you reached this point of this video congratulations you have successfully added a pop-out to your squarespace website and 2023 by following these steps, you can create an engaging pop-up to create or to capture your visitor's attention and drive conversions. So remember to design like your pop-up content uh, carefully and set appropriate triggers and display rules and test the functionality uh, before publishing. So thank you for watching and wish you the success in enhancing your Squarespace website with effective pop-ups. So thank you for watching again and of course I will see you on the next video.